Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another haul. Got some great stuff coming up here. Started off with a bang, Ninja Turtles number two. Now this is the second print. Got this off of eBay for a pretty good price. I think it was about $26. And it's a really nice copy. Um, I've never really had any want to get Ninja Turtles uh, early books, but I do recognize that they are probably never going to go down in price, um, no matter how good or bad a movie is, and the way the market's going right now. Maybe in maybe in a couple of years, if the if the market tanks, they'll go down. But there's definitely a good following for turtles, and these books are becoming a little bit harder to find. Now, like I said, this was second print, so. They'll be around, but I ended up paying about $26 for this, which I thought was a pretty good price. And just checking recently, it seems like that's a that's a good price to pay. Um, they go from anywhere from 20 to 40 depending on the condition. But like I said, this is a pretty nice high-grade book. The only thing that... These things are weird size. I think this is like a... Uh, probably like a Golden Age bag, maybe. It doesn't quite... The board doesn't quite fit it, but I have an actual Mylar for this size, so I figured I'd put it in there. I don't know, maybe like a magazine size would be better for it. But, uh, at any rate, <clears throat> happy to have that one. Here's one to keep an eye out for. All new Ghost Rider, number one. This is the 1 in 25 vehicle variant. Uh, Philippe Smith, uh, I believe, is that right? I don't know. Uh, 1 in 25, the vehicle variant, all new Ghost Rider. Kind of a tough book to find. There are really not many on eBay and just online in general. I don't know if there's any demand for them, but what usually happens if people start catch wind of it, that's when the demand starts to rise. Um, I don't know how many are out there, but like I said, I don't see many. And Ghost Rider is a little bit of a niche character, so if people... You know, if the, if the Ghost Rider fans got their hands on these, they'll probably keep them in their collection. I think I paid about 12 bucks for it. I also picked up a Uncanny 221 Mr. Sinister. Paid 12 bucks for that, too. He's going to show up in a movie sooner or later, so... Um, and there's, there's always rumors going on, especially now with the new X-Men, you got a new Wolverine movie, they're starting to talk about the next X-Men movie already. Alright, Guardians of Nowhere, number one, the Gwenom variant. Probably saw by now that uh, Robbie Rodriguez is going to have a, a little Gwenom miniseries maybe, I think. He's kind of retiring from comics, I think, his, I think his eyesight's going bad or something. Uh, but he mentioned that he's going to have a little series with her so I paid seven fifty for it. Um if you're watching the market this thing spiked real high to like I don't know if they were going for like thirty or forty bucks I think at one point. I think they're back down to normal maybe like ten bucks now but we'll see what happens in the future with that. Avengers one fifty eight this is a pretty cool comic in terms of it it's uh, Wonder Man fighting Vision. This is a pretty nice copy as well. It's a pretty high grade, except for the fact that you might be able to kind of see it up here. <clears throat> I think it was stored for a while without a bag and a board, and the back of the comic that was up against it started to bleed onto the cover of this one, which kind of sucks. I don't really know what that does for the grade. Uh, otherwise, like I said, it's pretty high grade. I think I paid about 12 bucks for it. But with the rumors of Wonder Man possibly appearing, I'm still not sold that Hill Wonder Man will appear. Uh, the character, the his real life character, looks like he's going to appear in the next Guardians of the Galaxy. But as far as Wonder Man himself showing up, I don't know. But this is kind of a, a key, I think, in terms of, uh, especially with a movie tie-in, just with Vision and Wonder Man. Um, you know, all these characters could potentially be in the same movie together. So, mainly why I got it. Uh, I picked up this online, uh, 
Wolverine Origins number four. This is a Gabriel Delato cover. I paid about two fifteen for it, and this is actually, I guess it's a variant. I think they had two different covers for this issue, so this is the second cover. If you want to call it a variant, sure. Also picked up a Lobo number one for a buck. Pretty nice copy. Let me check this real quick. Yeah, that's, this is a near mint copy for a dollar. Um, you know, it looks like they're going to do something with him as far as a movie or a TV tie-in or something. This is the number one from his mini series, first solo series, I believe. So for a buck, can't beat that. Here's another one to keep an eye out for. Catwoman, number 58, Adam Hughes cover. I've shown these before, but they're finally starting to get noticed a little bit more. They're going for 10 to 12 bucks, I think, now. Along with some of the other Catwoman, Adam Hughes covers. There's some. This is a Zaytana cover. All the Zaytana ones seem to be a little bit more sought after, as well as some of the other uh, just di different issues, depending on what the cover looks like. We're starting to pick up a lot more. Here's another one, I guess, kind of. Pick it up if you see it. Stormwatch number 37. First appearance of the Authority. Yeah, kind of a... I don't know that... I don't know that I ever see this out in the wild. I don't really look for it too often, but... Might be a... You know, probably find a dollar box. Whatever. Um, here's one I've shown before, but I got a lot better price on it this time. Spider-Man Deadpool number one. I paid about nine dollars. This is the variant. I paid about nine dollars. One in twenty-five variant. I couldn't pass it up for that price. I think this series is already starting to number one's already starting to get up there, like fifteen bucks. So I see in the future there's there's definitely some potential with this, like I've said before. All right, now I'm on to a Comic Con haul. Did pretty well, I think, if I do say so myself. Um, I'll start it off with Incredible Hulk number 142. I paid $10 for it. It's kind of a mid-grade copy. We've got the great Valkyrie cover, who is rumored to be in a, a movie coming up. Uh, Thor, I believe. Thor Ragnarok. Valkyrie's going to make an appearance, is at least what it's rumored. It's just a great cover um, also, and it's kind of, she's got a real convoluted uh, first appearance because there's some of like, there's, a, there's basically like three first appearances depending on who the character is that, uh, depending on who the, the actual person is that Valkyrie has assumed, the role that she's assumed. Uh, plus, it's just an awesome cover with the word bubbles. Every male chauvinist pig in the world will tremble when he sees the Hulk hurled to his death by a woman. Awesome cover. Awesome cover. I wish they still did the word bubbles on the covers because it really adds a little bit of character to them. Another one I got from the same retailer, Aquaman number 23. I paid 12 bucks. Again, it's probably... Eh, it's probably like a a very good, probably say about very good condition. Twelve bucks first uh, first Aqua Girl, as you can see up here. You know, it's a pretty nice copy. I mean, it's intact. Just a little bit of creasing down here. It's got some. Uh, I don't know if it's like a wax pencil up there. You know, spine's got some issues, but not bad overall. And then this was well, this is a real nice copy. Happy to get it for. 20 bucks of uh, Shazam 25 first Isis pretty high grade copy I'd put it at like a, a VF plus maybe for 20 bucks um, and then this was the last comic I picked up from this retailer man now that I look at this again I'm not as happy but um, so I was looking at this Power Man Iron Fist number 50 picked it up and I saw you know this is a it's a nice copy white copy white cover um 20 bucks eh, kind of back and forth on it at that price and i started looking at it closer and i said do you mind if i take this out and the, the dealer said no go ahead and what i was what i was seeing was the way that it was in the bag i could kind of see like this 
double image down here and I thought what the heck is that you know I was like is that a double cover so I took it out and indeed it is a double cover I think this is this is the first double cover that I know of now the thing that I was seeing as I picked it up again is it's got a little bit of a spine roll there but that's not that big of a deal I think this is the first uh, double cover that I own at least it's the first one that I know of so I was really happy to find that. I think after I saw that, 20 bucks is a steal on that. A double cover for a somewhat of a key. That's that's a steal. Uh, next up, I got... This was the only book I think I bought from this dealer. Batman 357. I paid $52 for it. First Killer Croc. The dealer had it at a, a very fine near mint. I would say... It's pretty close to that, if if not right on. Um, it, it's actually a pretty nice copy. I might put a little bit higher than that. But, uh, who knows. Um, moving on to another dealer. I picked this up for 10 bucks. Captain Adam 83. First uh, new Blue Beetle. Uh, this is the reprint, of course. Uh, for ten dollars, um, it's I don't know. The more I looked at it, it, probably shouldn't have even picked it up because it's got a stain on the back. It's it's very off white, off white to tan. But the reason I picked it up was um, let's see. I think I'm pretty sure I paid paid ten for that, and then I had to get this. This was the steal of the show for me. Detective 411, First Talia Al Ghul. I really don't see these too often. Maybe I'm just not going to... I don't go to a lot of the big shows, like the the major shows. I go to more local stuff, so I just don't see books like this too often. Um, I paid 180 for it. I think it was a steal. Uh, it's... <clears throat> Take it out here. I mean, it's completely intact. Um, you know, you don't really see a whole lot of... I mean, it's pretty flat. It's got some stressing up by the top staple a little bit. But, I don't know. if this Maybe this was pressed at one time. Because it's really flat. Uh, colors are really nice on it. I think for that price, you can't pass it up. He had another one uh, that I was looking at, which I put back immediately, was um, first Ra's al Ghul. And he had 175 on that, but the top staple was popped. And honestly, I think I see that book more than this one. So for about the same price, I got a lot better, a lot better condition book and uh, a little bit harder to find one. So... Like I said, that was the steal of the show right there. I'll show you what else I got, though. Um, these these were dollar books. X-Force, number eight. This is a pretty nice cover. Mr. X... First, uh, Mr. X versus Wolverine. Mr. X Wolverine. It's a one-shot. At first, I thought it was a Gabriel Delato color, but it's actually a... Um, uh, what is it? Uh, is it Scalero? Or Martina. Maybe Martina. Um, so I got that for a dollar. I got these for like three bucks each, I think. Superman, American Alien 2 and 3. It's a good series. Pick it up uh, if you want to um, wait for the trade. I would suggest that just so you're not buying something. I mean, the, the issues are kind of starting to creep out there although you can probably still get them for about 10 bucks it's a pretty good series and it's a limited series uh it looks like they're doing seven issues all right this was a different guy i zombie number 28 i picked that up for three dollars that's the last issue in the series kind of tough to find don't know that i've ever seen one before at least not for a reasonable price so three bucks happy to get that and i also picked up a Flash Iron Heights for uh, three dollars. Nice copy of that, which that's my 
think that was the second one I picked up recently. I had never seen that in the wild, and all of a sudden, you know, just found the second one. All right, this next uh, dealer got some really good stuff from. A couple really nice books, I guess. I picked up an Uncanny X Men 19, the J. Scott Campbell variant. Now, this is one you definitely want to pick up if you see it out. I ended up paying 30 bucks for it. I mean, that's a steal. Um, it's in nice condition, but I will say I've seen a couple of these and from different parts of the country, honestly. And on the back side, it's got like a, a weird, weird kind of wrap on it. Like it's a, almost seems like a manufacturing defect. Like I said, I've seen a couple, not from the same dealer. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of, there you can kind of see it. It gets like this weird crease on it and I think it's from when it gets when it was folded over to staple it or something um, I don't know I, I doubt like a grading company is picking up on something like that but I showed the dealer and he said oh yeah you're right I, I had not seen that before but he um, thanked me for pointing it out to him and he said he's gonna check for it in the future too if he ever runs across them so like I said I paid 30 for it and Ninja Turtles number 32 paid $15 for that. And I don't really know too much about it except what the dealer had on it. He said he had a tag on it that said this was only available through a website purchase. I assume from Mirage Publishing, which I was not aware of. I think this is the second to last issue of this series. And the other thing I didn't notice was that it has a $10 cover price, which is obviously pretty high for a just a regular issue so um also is very low print run i think the, the tag again said 700 which is super low and especially for a ninja turtles book uh, it's a tough one to find I, I think so happy to add that one for that price uh, a few actually this is the last one i got from the show just from a, a dealer didn't have a price on it i asked him what he wanted for he said three bucks i said i will take that all day long 654.1 first uh, Flash Thompson Venom cool cover so like I said I think I did out, did pretty well at that show um, let's see what else we got here here's, here's one that's finally heating up definitely glad to see this one finally heating up Wolverine number 315 to X23 Susan G. Komen variant. Like I've said in a couple videos ago, that any any of these uh, Wolverines in the 300s, if you're able to find the variants, they do pretty well, and they have some really cool covers. This one kind of sat lingering for a long time, and people really liked it because of the colors and X23, but it didn't really hold any value. Now it's finally starting to get up there where people are paying 20 bucks for it just because of the rise of the popularity of X23, I believe. All right, here's some free comic book day haul. We got some awesome stuff from one shop. I went to two. The one shop, uh, first one I went to, I got some great stuff I'll show you. Second shop I went to, I did not find anything. And they had some really good deals, but there was just nothing to be found. I think, I wouldn't be surprised if they go out of business soon, because they're not, it doesn't look like they're restocking any back issues. So, at any rate, let's get into what the good stuff I got. Alright, Robotech, number one, Macross. Paid $3 for that. Kind of a tough book to find, but it's a, it goes for about 20 or so. Night of the Living Dead, number two, Fantaco. I didn't really know anything about this issue. I just picked it up because it was a dollar. Figured it was probably kind of hard to find and... A lot, there's a lot of kind of horror books that people will pay top dollar for that you may not know of, like Freddy and Jason or Halloween books, uh, Night of the Living Dead. There's, there's a whole little genre there that people pay good money for those kind of books. So I was happy to get that for a dollar and find out that it's a $10, $12, 15 book. Justice Machine Annual. Picked that up for a dollar. Annual number one from Texas Comics. First appearance of the Elementals. Uh, also, it's like a, a 
newer version of Thunder Agents. I guess this was popular for a while, kind of died down, but it can still go for 20 bucks on a good day, and it's a nice high grade. The one thing I like about this shop is a lot of their books are pretty high grade stuff. I also picked up Punisher number four, first appearance of Microchip. As the new Punisher Netflix series comes online, people are kind of talking about what's uh, who's gonna who's he gonna fight. Uh, I'm kind of thinking it might be Kingpin, but there's gonna need to be some other guys along the way, and he really doesn't have a whole lot of uh, kind of arch nemesis, I guess you could say. Um, by Bullseye, kind of, you know, Bullseye would be a good tie into both series, so he'll show up at some point, whether it's male or a female Bullseye, it's yet to be a term, but that he'll show up at some point. Uh, so Microchip's kind of one of the uh, one of Punisher's enemies. Also, which another series which I'm having a hard time tracking down is the Punisher Max series, which was about 60 issues, I think. The first issue of that I think has a lot of potential. There's also another character called Barracuda that some people are talking about, who I think his first appearance is Punisher Max number 33. Uh, but Punisher Max number one, I think, if you can get your hands on that, that'll definitely see a rise in value. All right, here we go with Miracle Man. I couldn't believe the price they had on these. Two of them were three bucks, but I got number one through number ten number ten uh two of them were three bucks the rest were a dollar and they're nice high grade copies and i also got a 3d number one with the 3d glasses which is really hard to find i i think um you can probably find it online no problem but it's just not something you find out in the wild because most people would throw the glasses out so when I saw that for a dollar, I had to pick that up. All right, um, some more dollar books. Here's another couple you might want to pick up if you find them. Uh, Strange Tales, number 8 and 10, Cloak and Dagger. Again, with Cloak and Dagger show coming, again, who are they going to be uh, fighting against? And I honestly, I can't remember the name of the, the character in this, but... Uh, 8, I think, is the cameo, and 10 is the uh, full appearance. So do some digging on your own as far as that goes and, and figure out the character who, you know, it, like I said, for a dollar, probably worth picking up. Uh, Wonder, I can't believe I got these for a dollar. Wonder Woman 7, 8, and 9. First Cheetah, new Cheetah, uh, Barbara Minerva. Really high grade copies. I mean, these are this set here. It's probably a thirty dollar set on a good day. Also picked up a Justice League number one, first Maxwell Lord. Plus, it's just a iconic cover. Hawk and Dove number one. Nice high grade copy of that. First new Dove. Logan's Run number one. I'll pick that up uh, for that price. Definitely, it's kind of a you know, it's a it's a copper, it's a thirty center that uh, definitely ha is worth at least a dollar, especially in high grade. And a New Mutants eighty seven, nice high grade copy of that. And then I got these for fifty cents. I got a Grimjack number one and a Star Slayer number ten, first appearance of Grimjack. These ones I always pick up if I find them for a dollar or less. Grimjack's kind of a it's got a lot of issues. Um, you know, it, I mean, it's, I think it's like 30 issue series. Uh, Blue Ribbon Comics, number one. Great little pickup if you see it out there. It's got some nice Steve Ditko art in it. And again, it was 50 cents. Can't pass that up. And like I said earlier, Wonder Man. Pick that up. Make sure if you get this issue. It's not a hard issue to find. But you can see I got the newsstand here, which is awesome. And then make sure it has a poster in it. This one does. It's got a trifold poster in it. All right, this was a $3 pickup. Spawn, number one. Nice high grade copy. That's definitely worth it. And I picked up a number nine for a dollar. Definitely pick that up. Another $3 was Marvel 2 and 1, number 30. Second appearance of Spider Woman. 
And I got a Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter number one for three bucks. Picked up this. Um, I think this is my second second copy of this. Invaders just has some awesome covers because of the uh, time period that they they were in the fighting the Nazis. And this is I've shown this before, I believe. First appearance of Warrior Woman. Pretty cool cover. It's a white cover, so it's a little makes it a little bit tougher to find in high grade. And again, it was three bucks. Um, and another one that's just. For the price, I couldn't pass it up. I don't know if there's even... So this is Calendar Man. I don't think this is first appearance, though. Um, but it was just a real nice high-grade copy for 3 bucks. Near Mint copy. Detective 551. Like I said, I don't know if there's any uh, significance to it. Well, that's... That's really about all I got. Um, so, thanks again for watching. Uh... I'll see you next time. Got a couple conventions, I think, coming up. So hopefully I'll, I'll get some more good stuff. And thanks for watching. Keep trolling those dollar boxes.